Type Capacity Optimization How-To Videos. Today, we're going to briefly describe the content of the OpenStack view. As other best practice view, the OpenStack view is structured in different pages, which provide visibility at different levels of the cloud, such as regions, availability zones, and host aggregates. Visibility of capacity at instance type and tenant level is also provided. The first page related to cloud, cloud high house shows some key metrics and some important indicators such as the CPU overcommit ratio which is today 1.7 and the number of spare VMs which is currently 431. From here um, you can move to different levels to regions availability zones and host aggregates. For example, if we move to the region level, we can see that this cloud has two different regions, region 2 and region MH. And for each one of the regions, you can see some key metrics representing the CPU over commit ratio, the memory over commit ratio, and the ephemeral storage over commit ratio. And again, you can see the number of powered on VMs and the number of spare VMs. And you can see that one of those two regions has a predicted saturation of, uh, due to short storage shortage in about four days. This has been calculated in terms of the average number of VMs which are currently delivered on this uh, specific region. For the other region, we have applied uh, the specific instance type which we expect to deliver in, in the next months. From this level you can move to the availability zone level directly or by drilling down and have similar information in terms of overcommitment, spare VMs and days to saturation and the uh, bottleneck resource. Same applies to the host aggregates. But more importantly, you could directly move to the cloud map, which provides full visibility in terms of the cloud resources at CPU level, memory, and data store. Let's move to the data store, since we know we may have some problems, specifically on the MH region. As you can see, we have a couple of virtual clusters definitely running out of uh, storage. From here you could also move to recommendations to get a better sense of what might be the best action to take. As you can see, the tool recommends uh, different approaches to potential risk that you may be facing and specifically there are recommendations in terms of adding additional memory and storage for uh, some host aggregate. Thank you very much for your attention and looking forward to talk to you soon.